It's Friday. Can you believe it? It doesn't really feel like a Friday anymore, does it? But uh, hey, anyway, we're inside, staying safe. Here at home, it's time to draw once again. I'm Boris, feeling a little uh, festive and patriotic for our Memorial Day weekend coming up where we remember those who have made the ultimate sacrifice so that we can have our freedoms. So I'm wearing this uh, red, white, and blue shirt. Got my blue Kyle Busch M&M's hat on here showing my support. And uh, yeah, it's time to draw. If you've just joined us for the first time, we draw every weekday, uh, right? Usually at noon Eastern, a little earlier today, but uh, we draw race cars, and that's what we're going to do today. Except today we're going to go inside the race car, and we're going to draw the race car driver. We're going to look straight on at the race car driver as he or she is racing down the track. Okay? That's an angle we've never drawn before. I've never drawn it before, so we're all going to learn here together. But today we're going to start with some show and tell. It's the end of the week. I got such a great overwhelming response of excellent photos and of, of your drawings and I wanted to show them off here so that everyone could see the great job that you're doing drawing and I also have a, a show and tell that I want to show that I drew so why don't we start with that what do you say the first one's from Daniel look at that interstate batteries helmet colored it in beautifully I can tell that took a lot of time to color in and it took a lot of skill and patience and so I'm very proud of the job this artist did on this helmet Got the colorful lines in the visor. Beautiful logo right there. Hand-drawn logo for the Interstate Batteries helmet. Perfect green coloring. Excellent, excellent job. Also, this one from Daniel. That's our motocross bike. We drew that sitting on the stand and one in the background making the jumps. Pretty awesome to include JGR MX in that drawing there, isn't it? What a great job. Great coloring, too. Looks like maybe it's using markers. That's what I would say. That's what it looks like to me. There's a drawing by Devin. Looks like Jimmy Johnson inside the race car. We're going to do a similar drawing today, except we're going to look like we're looking straight through the windshield at the driver. So a similar angle today. Good job, Devin. All right. This one's a little harder to see here. This is from Matthew. I don't know if you can see it very well, but he did an awesome job at a super detailed drawing. I know it's a little hard to see on your screen, but trust me, it's pretty good. We'll share this on our comments, but... Devin did a motocross bike, JGRMX, flying through the air in the stadium. He's got the crowd here, a full crowd. The whoop section here on the track with the dirt. He's hanging off the back of the bike. I don't know if you can see that, but it is just such a good job. So much good detail in that. Good job, Matthew. All right, Ann told me about John, who is age seven, and draws all these pictures with us. I just wanted to give a big shout out to John, age seven. Look at the great job that John has done drawing with us. These are all drawings from our episodes. I can't believe we've done this many. But it's really cool to see you drawn along with us. There's a Lightning McQueen and our wheel and the Interstate Batteries car and the DeWalt car. There's Denny Hamlin's FedEx car, an old Interstate car. So the flags, such a great job. There's a Racing Glove and Tony Stewart's old car. So I'm really impressed with those. Thank you so much to John in Columbia, South Carolina, and Anne for sending those in. And then Laura sent in this really awesome drawing. Dale Earnhardt, looks like maybe at Daytona, taking a picture on the front stretch. The old number three, blue and, blue and uh, yellow car, really great. Really appreciate you drawing with us, Laura. Such a good job. And then Jack had one that he sent in, this is from yesterday. This is Denny Hamlin winning in the rain at Darlington this week on Wednesday. And Jack got the checkered flag in there. A great fire suit. I think Jack was age five. Am I remembering that right? He'll correct me if I'm wrong on that. But the rain's coming down. Got some clouds up there. Really captured that moment really well. Good job, Jack. And then I had one to show off. So I designed this for a friend this week. Kelly is a very talented writer about NASCAR and things like that. And, and she's been working in the sport for a while. And so I helped her by drawing a picture of her, and then drawing out a logo for her podcast, the Racing Writers Pod Podcast that you can listen to, where she interviews and talks about drivers and racing. And uh, she watches the show and, and wanted to have her drawing as, uh, as her podcast logo. So I'm really happy with how that came out, and she likes it too. She's sitting inside the car, getting a front row seat of everything going on, and there's the driver sitting back there. So you see, if, uh, if you keep practicing your drawing, you could even make a career out of things like this, right? You could you could draw race cars and write about race cars and uh, doesn't have to just be a hobby. So 
really cool there. I was really excited with how that turned out. So thanks to Kelly for, for giving me that opportunity. And, uh, and yeah, I hope you like it. Well, we're done with show and tell, so let's get to drawing. What do you say? We're going to draw the race car driver in the car as if we're looking through the windshield, so straight on at the race car driver. So let's get our pen and paper or colored pencils or crayons or whatever you want to draw with. Let's get them ready for a new drawing here and start the fun. I usually almost always start with a line. Just helps me judge where I'm going to be drawing. And so the same thing's going to happen here. I'm going to draw a line along the bottom. And this is going to end up being the bottom of our windshield today because we're drawing a driver as if we're looking straight through the windshield. It's like we're a little bug flying and we're about to get splattered on that windshield and this is the last thing we see before we get splattered. No, I'm just kidding. We're not the bug. We'll go over the car. Very aerodynamic bug. We are. But we're getting a view of the driver right before we go over that car. Okay? So that's the bottom of the windshield. And I actually want you to draw the side of the windshield like this. It's kind of like making a check mark, right? And then we'll do the top of the windshield like this. So we've kind of made a just the side of a windshield, one half of the windshield. Does that make sense? All right, well, you're catching up there. I'm going to read some comments, see who's out there, see who's watching. We're having a good time. It's Friday. We've had a good week, another good week of drawing. I appreciate you watching, and I'm glad you enjoy it. we got Lynn out there in Greensboro. Patricia says good morning. Good morning, Patricia. Mark is in Concord. Mark is a top fan, always commenting on JGR posts. I really appreciate that. Uh, have a successful surgery this week, Mark. We're thinking about you. Um, let's see. Susan was really impressed with all the kids' drawings. Thank you, Susan. So was I. Marcia is in Canada. Marcia, you can get this hat at shopjgr.com. Shopjgr.com. They, they let me borrow this one. It's one of my favorites. Becky's all the way up in South Dakota. Of course, Susan's in Montana. Brandon's watching. Brandon and I use the Procreate app and an Apple Pencil. Devin's out there. All right. Let's draw this driver. You can turn this into whatever driver you want, okay? First, I'm going to draw a dashboard, so we're going to have a second line here. We're going to have ourselves a little dashboard. And then we're going to start with the steering wheel. Okay? Now, a steering wheel, pretty much a half circle is what we want to do, right? So, how can you do that? Well, I draw a dot where I want the center of the steering wheel to be, which is about right there. And then I draw another dot for the left and the right over here, like this. And then I would just connect them with some kind of banana shapes, like that. Just a curve. It's kind of making a dome. Or you can freehand it if you want to. It's up to you. There you go. Make it a little thicker than that line I have it there. We're gonna have to draw some fingers on this wind on this uh, steering wheel because obviously this is what the driver holds on to to steer and go so quickly down the track. And he usually has to use his hands to do that. I would recommend that at all times. So we've got our steering wheel in there, kind of a rainbow shape. You know what I mean? Looking pretty good. This is our windshield. If you're just joining us, we're drawing the driver in the car. Okay, let's draw those hands on there. So they're going to be at about 10 and 2, like it was a clock, right? 10 o'clock and 2 o'clock. So if it was like a clock, we put the hands up here. Now for the fingers, I'm just doing little hot dog shapes, okay? Do a little hot dog shape over here. One. Let me zoom in so you can see. These are like those little... Um, the little hot appetizer hot dogs, the ones you get before the big meal, the little tiny ones. One, two, three. And our driver has four fingers. Most people have four fingers. Some people have fewer fingers. Some people might have a little more, but we're going to stick with the traditional four fingers and a thumb. Okay? So if we're looking like this, the thumb's going to be on the insides right here, correct? So the thumb is going to come up like this. All right? See what I did there? Now just do the same thing over here. One, two, three, four, many hot dog shapes, and a thumb sticking out. All right. So now we have our hand. Driver's wearing black gloves, so it's perfect. Merges in like that. We've got our hand. Very nice. All right. Now we need a helmet, don't we? We need a helmet. The first thing I'm going to do though is I'm going to draw the shoulders and we're going to do kind of like a loaf of bread shape right here. 
They're going to come up from the sides, make a little bit of a candy cane shape, and then we're going to connect them. These are the shoulders of your driver, right? So you can use me as a model. See? You're just drawing the shoulders like that. Got it? All right. Got those shoulders in there. Left a little space so we can draw the helmet in there. All right, the helmet. Well, you know how it looks. I'm going to draw it first, then I'll walk you through it. Well, I can give you another little model here, can't I? Look at that. Straight on helmet like that. What shape do you see? Yeah. Kind of a dome, a little bit of an egg-shaped, ovalish, not quite a perfect circle, a little taller than it is wide. All right. Very nice. So let's draw that helmet up there like that. Again, I'm going to go a little taller at the top. There we go. There's actually that air hose connector up there. And then at the bottom, I'm going to round it kind of like this. Kind of Darth Vader looking helmet there. All right. Pretty good. How's yours looking? You like that? All right, we need that visor in there. The visor is going to make kind of a smiley face. Draw it up there on the forehead. That's where the visor starts. The visor is just the part of the helmet the driver looks through. See how it's kind of a smiley face look up there? And then do a smiley face look on the bottom just above the steering wheel. And then connect the sides like that. Look at there. And just like that, we have our visor. Now you have a couple options here for inside the visor. If it's a night race, it's a clear visor, right? It doesn't need a shade for the sun. So you can actually draw the driver's top of his nose and his eyes or her, maybe their eyebrows. Or you can make it like this visor and make it reflective with the colored swooshes. I'm going to choose to make this a night race because we learned how to draw eyes yesterday. We're going to try that again. I'm going to see if you remember. So remember the eyes. I just like to draw kind of a half almond shape right here like this and then do a dot in the middle like that kind of a half almond shape right there like this and do a dot and then I'm gonna give these eyebrows they're gonna be really focused they're not really they're kinda of mean looking but they're not intended to be mean they're just really focused he's like drivers like this see how see what I did there now if you're gonna draw the eyes in there I'm gonna show you how to draw the nose the nose is gonna be covered up by the fabric in the helmet so it's gonna go something like this Draw a little indentation for the nose, and then do this kind of thing here. See what I did there? It's a little bump, and then it goes up, and then I'll fill all this in in black, because this is the cushioning and the fabric and everything that keeps the driver comfortable and safe in an impact. That's why we wear helmets, right? Bicycles, motorcycles race cars, all sort of things like that. That's why, why those, why wear those thick helmets with those thick, the thick padding in there. So that's why there's all this black around the driver's face. It's just some cushioning. If you want to, you can draw a line up like this to indicate the nose. There you go. I think that's looking pretty good, don't you? Yeah, looking pretty good. That driver looks pretty comfortable in that helmet. Have you ever worn a helmet before? This one's too small for me. See. This tooth is a little too small. I need to get a bigger size. I ordered that extra, extra, extra small. I'm just kidding. You can get these at shopjgr.com as well. That's a little collector's helmet. All right. Now we're going to draw the bottoms of the arms and the hands. So draw a little line like this. That's going to be the palm. And the inside of his glove on the palm is white. So we're going to leave that white. And then draw the arms just coming down like that. See that? Those angles are a little weird actually, but he's kind of going like this, which is a little strange, but you know, maybe he's just learning how to drive. Maybe this is a driver who doesn't really know what they're doing. You know what I'm saying? I don't suggest holding the wheel like that. No, you probably want to be elbows out like this. All right, let's see here. What else do we need? We got the fire suit, you know, we can add little lines on the fire suit. You can turn it into whichever driver you want. But just like that, we're telling the story 
of a race car driver driving the car. You can add some seat belts in there like this. Very important to have those seat belts. Hans device goes over the shoulders like this. Of course we're going to need to draw the seat. So the seat will draw a line at the top of the helmet like this. And we'll just make some blocks like that. We're looking straight on at the seat. So it's going to be blocks like that. Then you can do a block on the side. The seat follows the contour, which really is the outer line of the shape of the driver's body. It's fitted. We fill the seat with a foam. It's really liquidy, kind of gross to sit in it, but there's plastic around it. It's not getting on the driver. The driver sits in there. The foam expands around the driver and makes the perfect shape around the driver. Now that's why we tell, tell our drivers, can't gain or lose much weight. You gotta stay in the same weight category so your seat still fits. Wouldn't that be great if our car seats were just like that for us in our, on the street? Whew, it'd be comfortable. Like being in a little cocoon or a little hammock. Alright. So there's your seat. Alright, now I'm going to draw an outer line to show some sheet metal holding that windshield in place. And then I'm also draw the roof up like this. You following along? You get what I'm doing? Very nice. I'm also going to draw a bar, just a straight line over here in the windshield. That's a brace to keep our driver safe. Whoop, I smudged it. And then I'm going to draw some circles in there. Those are just little holes that are drilled in the brace. It's still strong, but it makes it even lighter weight. So you can do that. You can put some holes or you can make a, a solid thick line like this. Very nice. Let's see, I'm going to pick a different eraser. See how I have some holes in there? Those could be the brackets that hold in the, the window. It depends how detailed you want to get. That drawing I showed for Matthew with the motocross track, whoo, super detailed. So he's, a, he's an artist that likes detail. Some artists like to do broad colors and, and backgrounds and landscapes and not much detail. It's really up to you. All right, now we're going to add in the window. So the window is going to go in between this line like this, and it's going to go half and half. See that? It's going to cut it in half, and then it's going to go straight up like this. Does that make sense? See how this is going to make a window? You'll understand here in a second, I promise. And then we're going to put the window net inside that window. So once you draw that L, you cut that line in half there, and go straight up. Give that a shot. I'll give you a second, and we'll get back to filling in the window net. I don't want to go too fast for you here. All right, this is really looking pretty good, isn't it? All right, you ready for the window net now? So inside this L, all we have to do is do some straight up lines like this. Draw them fairly close to each other. See, like that. This is the net. Let's go up and down, up and down, up and down. Like that. Stop right about there. And then go across and follow this line at the bottom across like this. Okay? There's your window net. There you go. All right, got the window net done. We're almost done with this. We have to add some color here and we'll be wrapping it up. While you're finishing your window net, I'm gonna read a few more comments. Really enjoy seeing your comments out there. Thank you so much. Let's see what's going on out here. Oh yeah, a lot of people watching. Susan, Larry's out there. Mark's asking if we'll draw a hauler. We've drawn several haulers. Check out our YouTube channel. I'm sure we'll do another one in the future, Mark, but we've drawn several haulers. It's a fun thing to draw from the side and the front. Really good stuff out there. Thank you for all the retweets on Twitter as well and all the hearts. Appreciate you watching. We're having fun drawing out there. Let's finish up our driver from the front view. What do you say? We're almost done with this. You can add a visor, a strip up here. Our race cars do run this dark strip up here. And it has sometimes the driver's name, sometimes the series name. Depends what series you're in. I'll put that up there just for realism. And I think we are ready. I'm going to draw some bars in here, but I think we're ready to start coloring. What do you think? Are you ready for this? Now there's a lot of gray in the car. I would recommend making the driver's suit and helmet a colorful, popping color so that it doesn't mix with all the dark shadows and grays and blacks in the car, okay? So, um, you know, you got Kyle Busch has been running a 
purple M&M Spudge Brownie car. Of course, Martin Truex Jr. has the Day Glow Orange Bass Pro Shops on his helmet. Denny Hamlin with the orange and purple and white of the FedEx helmet. Eric Jones with the bright yellow DeWalt helmet. In fact, I have one of those helmets right here. See how bright that yellow is? Look at that. You can do a helmet like that. In fact, that's the helmet I'm going to choose. I'm drawing a picture of Mr. Eric Jones in his Stanley helmet, Stanley Tools, which is also yellow. So let's do that. Let's start with some color. And since we're drawing the driver, the funnest part first, we'll start with that one with the yellow. So I'm going to draw this Stanley helmet for Mr. Eric Jones. Here we go. Whoop, that is black. That is not yellow. Not at all. Here we go. Okay. Good thing I had an eraser there, you know what I'm saying? All right. Yellow helmet filling in. Now Eric Jones's real Stanley Tools helmet is so cool. I don't know if I'm going to be able to replicate it exactly, but I'm going to kind of make my own helmet design. Maybe I'll send it to them. Some nice folks out there at Stanley Tools thinking about my buddy Tony, Colby, Carlos, our friends out there at Stanley who might be watching out there. They're, they love racing and we love having them on board. I'm going to fill in this fire suit too. Now I'm going to leave the seat belts black, but I'm going to fill in yellow here. I might put some yellow in Eric Jones' gloves too. He's He's got a lot of yellow. He likes to match them up when he's, when he's racing. There we go. Yellow arms for that Stanley fire suit. Yellow around the shoulders here. Make those arms yellow. See how it's really going to pop out on the picture? It's really going to be a good looking drawing here. And just like that, we've got the Stanley helmet and fire suit. I'm going to pick a dark gray and I'm going to start adding in some, some lines and shapes in here. Make it look like a really good looking helmet like he races. Maybe some spikes. They really go all out with their helmets there at Stanley. So I'm going to make it look pretty cool. And this is where you can get creative and do whatever helmet you want to. Or you can follow along with what I'm doing. Yeah, look at that. Got some gray in his fire suit there. Looking good. And of course I'm going to write Stanley on there. S T A N L E Y you know, I've been watching on social media. We've been doing a uh, Stanley tape measure track challenge where you make a racetrack out of a tape measure, Stanley Fat Max tape measure, and you get a ping pong ball or some kind of barbell or a ball like that, and you roll it down and you try to get it to an end zone into a, into a location. Like uh, I saw my friend John used a toy dump truck, and he got it right in there. And my friend Evan, she sent it down the, through the living room on the tape measure, it landed perfectly in a little cup. So it was really good. And Eric Jones did one. The pit crew has done one. The crew chief on the 20 car has done one. So I, I think you should try it too. The uh, Stanley Tools Track Challenge. Trust me. It's a lot of fun. You should try it. Look it up. Check out the Joe Gibbs Racing channel for some example videos of what you can do. It's a fun little project. All right. I'm filling in that seatbelt gray. I'm telling you, just get that gray ready because there's a lot of gray and black in the inside of the race car. Pencil works great for this. Maybe a marker or even a Sharpie. you got to be careful of those Sharpies, though. They'll bleed through and get on other things. But just fill in some gray on the dashboard. This is really coming together nicely. I'm just going to leave this part over here kind of whiskey. See, see over here? Wispy? Not whiskey. Wispy. So just kind of fade it off over there. going to color in the top section. You could put a name up here. I might do that. I might put put Jones up here because that's Eric's last name. He's a driver of the 20 car, of course. Didn't he do such a great job at Darlington, by the way? Did you see that pass he made for the lead? Three wide late in the race? That was one of the coolest passes I've seen. I mean, ever. It was so awesome. So let me add that in there. I'm going to add Jones in there. I'm just going to write it up here. Jones. J O N E S 
That's his last name. They put that on the windshield sometimes. Sometimes it's on the rear. There you go. Of course, this weekend, I believe we're running some special names for Memorial Day. We're running names over the door in place of our drivers' names of real-world heroes, our nurses and doctors and people out there that are on the front lines helping us during this time. And then we're also putting the names of uh, fallen service members who've made the ultimate sacrifice for us and our freedom for Memorial Day on the front windshield for the Coke 600. So watch that this Sunday, okay? We're in Charlotte. I can't go to the track just like you. We're, we're kind of kind of at home staying safe, but our drivers and crews are out there doing it in a safe way and putting on a show for us. All right, let's put it, get a medium gray and fill in some of these bars. The seat's going to be black, so we'll save the seat for the end. But I'm filling in some bars in here. Just making it look good. Make it look cozy, roomy. I might actually, you know, yesterday I tried with another brush. You can you can try all sorts of brushes out there. What did I try? I think I tried this brush and I liked it a lot. Yeah. I'm gonna try this brush again. You can try all sorts of ways to make make it a little darker in your car. Whatever you think. This is like a water brush. It kind of fills in and gets darker the more you add to it. See that? I kind of like that. It's kind of hazy. You might experiment with some watercolors this weekend or ask your parents to buy you some special paints or something like that you can try with to try to fill in big spaces a little quicker. All right, I'm going to go back to my inking pen and choose black and we're going to fill in this seat around Mr. Jones. Mr. Jones and me. All right. There's his protective seat wrapped around him, cozy. If he wasn't going 200 miles an hour, he might just take a nap because his seat is so comfortable. There he goes. All right, got the seat filled in. How's yours looking? Now, of course, he's in the Stanley car, so we need to make the outside skin of the car yellow. Don't we? Yeah. So let's do that. Let's grab my yellow again, and I'm just going to fill in around there. If this is the car you've chosen to draw, you can do the same, or you can do whatever color you've chosen. But I really like this. I'm just going to be sketchy up here on the car. This, this isn't the main part of the picture, so I'm just kind of filling it in in a sketchy way. The main part was that driver, so we made sure we got that. You could also make yourself the driver. You don't have to draw a real world driver, right? You can give the uh, hair color and the skin tone. Maybe, maybe you've got long hair so there's a ponytail sticking out the side. Who knows? Whatever you want to draw on this. And you can write your name on the windshield. Right? That'd be fun. Alright, now we know it's the Stanley Tools car. Because we've got that yellow. I'm going to add some blue back here for the background and do some do some swooshes flying by. Gotta, still got to go fast, even though we can't see much of the car. Still got to have the outside world flying by. There we go. We'll do some more gray in here on the car. That's actually a part of the car that's closed in. That's the A post, so we'll do that right there. All right. Final thing is some skin tone color. So Mr. Eric Jones's color is kind of a peachy color like this. So I'm going to find that. I'm going to color that in. There we go. All right. Well, just like that, we finished our race car driver. Another new angle we've never drawn before. That was a lot of fun. I like that one. That was the first time I've drawn an angle like that. So I was learning along like you and uh, really enjoying myself. I hope you did too. Make sure you send me your uh, messages. Make sure you send me your drawings. So I can do them, put them on show and tell next week, and we'll have some fun out there as we draw some more race cars next week. Well, let me read a couple more comments as you're finishing up, and we'll call it a day. And uh, yeah, I got I have to get some lunch. I'm a little hungry. I don't know about you. All right. Hey, Jeffrey sent in a drawing that he did. I'm only gonna be able to show this. This is on Twitter. This is what he did. Looks like. Similar to our angle. It's hard to show, but check out Twitter. I'll retweet it on there. That looks like Jimmy Johnson, but you see the window net back there? It's at a different angle. 
kind of he's got his thumb up in the air. This is a really excellent job. So I'm very impressed with that. Thank you for tweeting that to us, Jeffrey. Very awesome. All right, let, let, let me read a few more comments here. I'm just not ready to jump off yet. See Jack's out there. Jack's been listening to Eric Jones read his story time. Check out Eric Jones' uh, website, or I should say his social media, Instagram and whatnot, and you can, you can watch that. Terry really liked this. Devin thought it was cool. Thanks, Mark, again for watching. Ronald's out there. Ronald has a good idea about printing these pictures out and donating, selling them for charity. I kind of like that idea. We'll think about that, Ronald. Good idea. All right. Well, that's it. We're, we're going to head into Memorial Day, Memorial Day weekend. I hope you have a, a great one. And uh, remember and pay tribute to those that have made the ultimate sacrifice for us so that we can, we can draw race cards, right? Thanks for watching. Y'all have a good day.